Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today we're going to talk about opening up .rtm files. Now, .rtm files are, they can be made by several different sources, one of which is WM Recorder, another is uh, from Real Tracker, which is a, a digital music uh, recording um, application, and with the, they're also compatible with Winamp, so you can play the .rtm files back with Winamp. There also uh, there are Navicat report files that uh, is a database front end kind of a GUI database management system. And finally, they can be runtime menu files uh, that you can open with LabView. Now, if you happen to get an RTM file that was created with WM Recorder, you're probably out of luck with doing anything with it because the .rtm format as it applies to WM Recorder is a proprietary format that uh, basically gets can, gets created as an intermediate file while it's capturing video and if for some reason the sending end shuts down before WM Recorder is ready for it well it bombs out and makes this file um, however if you go to the website here at uh, wmrecorder.com and talk real nicely, you may be able to get some help from someone on that. Um, if it is a .rtm uh, real tracker music module, you can download Winamp and play it with that. Um, if it's a Navicat database file, they have all sorts of front ends for this. Uh, they probably have a non-cost, free for personal use front end that you can get to view it. And uh, National Instruments gives you a 30-day trial um, to the uh, LabView application that if it is actually a runtime menu file, you'll be able to open it with that and view it uh, using their free tools. You know, it's free for a month, uh, at least as right now it is, and it's just a wonderful tool for capturing scientific data and whatnot. So I'm Matthew Pierce. Today we talked about opening up .rtm files. Thanks for watching.